Hey, what's up? Hey, man, how you doing? Hey, how you doing, man? You all right? Please enter now in the super chats. How you doing? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? You okay? Okay, hold on here, guys. Let me check my. Let me check my notes here. Ooh, we got a live update. Ooh, guys, very exciting. We got a live update. But it's not live. I'm recording this. Live update for the president. The president's happening. Do we have a graphic for that? Okay, we didn't. Okay, we do not have a graphic for that. Oh, wow, man. People are inspired and excited about this very... About this very historical event that's happening right now. What is it? Guys, there's a long history of the United States and who's the president of the United States? George Lincoln. Who's that George Lincoln? Who's that George Lincoln? George Lincoln. Who the hell is this guy? Look at this beaut here. Oh, dude, who da who's that? I'm not even familiar with that one. But there was a lot of these guys in the past and that's putting it lightly. But there's a lot of them and from what I understand, there's a, m a new one. And people couldn't be more inspired. I'm putting it on the internet. They make me sick. Good morning. That's right. Last night's debate between Biden and former President Donald Trump was a who? A who? B never heard of him. Oh, and C. They make me sick. A wake up call for many in the Democratic Party who are now thinking the formerly unthinkable replacing Joe Biden on the presidential ticket. According to Politico, oh, one okay. major Democratic donor and Biden supporter said it was time for him to end his campaign. He said in a text message, Biden needs to drop out, no question about it. The donor described Biden's night as the worst performance in history and said oh, Biden was so bad that no one will pay attention to Trump's lies. Oh, Another Democratic donor wrote over text message, our only hope is that he bows out. We've brokered a convention or he dies. Otherwise, we are <laughs> wow. effing dead. Okay, so this is the live update for the new president. Play the graphic again, please. And I was watching this on, what is this show? I was learning about this on Bobby and Newbery. Bobby and Newbery? It seems like what's going on is people are like, hey, they're telling this guy Joe. They're like, hey, maybe you shouldn't do this. You're too old. Maybe you shouldn't be president. Maybe you shouldn't try to be president again. He's like, nah, I'm gonna still do it. So they're like, you could die. How about that? And he's like, hmm, what happens after I die? And they're like, that's kind of a mystery. And he's like, interesting. So that's the update from what I understand. You could be president or you could just go like this. <laughs> that's dying. You could go like this. <laughs> that's dying. Okay, let's check the news. We gotta check this out. What does it say here? The road to a crisis. How Democrats let President Biden get, what is it, glide to renomination? Oh, man. An 81 year old candidate and no plan B. How did we get here? Wait, hold on. What's this here? Ghosting is an inescapable part of dating. Is it ever okay? Hey, you better not ghost my ass. Iluma! You better not ghost me or you get one of these. Boom, boom. Get a few of these. Boom. Okay, what's this one here? Okay, this is the more interesting one here. What's this guy? President Biden's new ad focuses entirely on an energetic appearance the day after his halting debate showing. Ooh, that sounds good. Can we see that ad? Is that ad, ad, is that ad out yet? Let's check that ad. Hey, what's up, assholes? Hey, you shits. It's me. I feel better now. I have more energy now. Check this out. Yeah. Check this out. Yeah. Hell yeah. Sorry about when I didn't have energy. Now I do. I'm also thinking about dying. Have a good one. Have a good one. Bye. But I have said very clearly and very plainly He's on this lady. network, and my job now okay. is to be really honest. Okay. Joe Biden had one thing he had to do tonight. Okay. And he didn't do it. Hey. He had one thing he had to accomplish, and that was dying. reassure America oh, right, that right. he was up to the job at his age. So, yeah, I don't know. It's very exciting, very interesting. You know, you see a lot of people trying to figure this out. I'm mad this guy Trump's really bad, but this other guy seems to be falling asleep or dying or something. What do we do? What do we do? You know, we've been seeing a lot of this media, but I haven't seen one idea. Here, I do have one idea, is they could be like, oh, you know, this guy, the president... He's, you know, he's mostly symbolic. It's largely symbolic, you know? He's not really making all the decisions, all this, you know? So he's symbolic, and this guy, Joe, you know, they could say this, his campaign can say this. He's symbolic of a lot of people, you know, in the country that we live in. A lot of people are like, uh? 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 They're like, what? 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 He represents that a lot of people are like, what? Uh? 
Look at this beaut here. Huh? Huh? And he represents that. A lot of people are going like this. A lot of people are going like this. A lot of people are going like this. Huh? So. Huh? Wait, what does the ad say? Biden's new post-debate ad. When you get knocked down, you get back up. Oh, the Chumbawamba approach. It's a classic Chumbawamba campaign. Weren't they talking about drinking in that song? Oh, so he's drunk. Ooh, that's good. Huh? Okay, that's actually way better. They were like, sorry, the guy was drunk. The guy was going like this. I don't think I understand this ad. When you get knocked down, you get back up. By time? How did he get knocked down? By being old? I guess basically the ad will be like, when you get old, you can be young again. What does that mean? When you get knocked down, you get back up. You, you didn't get knocked down, you're just old. When time passes and you age, you can not, not do that. Or you can die. Or he dies. Otherwise, we are <laughs> wow. effing dead. Uh -huh. Hi, I'm Joe. You might have seen me in the debate that people have been making fun of. I was knocked down by the normal process of aging and time moving forward. But I'm... Hey. Hey, shut up. I'm not going to do that anymore. Promise. Hey, answer me. Uh -huh. Welcome back to the comment section, everyone. I'm Brett Cooper. And oh, thanks so much, Brett. First of all, who? Who the hell are you? And second of all... Dude, I'm burning you down. But I'm uh, glad to, thanks for having me. Go ahead. And the first presidential debate was last night. Never and I really have no words. Also just like sad and plain embarrassing for Americans. But you know what that means. We cope with humor. And that is what we're going to do on the show today. Oh, but thank God. We oh, thank God for that. And God bless you. Okay, let's get some of that humor. That's kind of stressful to watch this. Wait, let's get some of that humor, please. Cough up the humor, God damn you. <laughs> Cough up that humor, God damn you to hell. But my favorite tweet was actually from Elon, who just summed everything up perfectly. Elon who? And he said, tonight was a clear victory for memes. Literally, <laughs> like that is. <laughs> Iluma. Okay, pretty good so far. Biden sounding like a pilot eating the microphone while announcing flight delays. <laughs> Okay. That was literally the entire debate. That was a really, really terrible impression. Don't ever ask me to do that again. But that is what it felt like. It's the perfect. Oh, hell yeah. How many views on this? 717,000 in two days? Oh my God. Praise God for that. That's how you know you're killing it with the humor when you're like, don't ask me to do this again. Sorry, that was terrible. Don't ask me to do this again. Hey, we need some humor. Here's some. Don't ask me to do this again. It's not good. I know that was bad. <laughs> 770,000 views in two days. Now, to Biden's credit, okay. he had a few fiery moments in the debate. He called Trump a suck. He was going like this a little bit. And then he went like this. Look at my penis. And a loser. And he said that Trump had the morals of an alley cat. And then he also went, <laughs> you had sex with a... I think I missed that part. Let's hear that. For doing a whole range of things of having sex with a porn star on the night while your wife was pregnant. Uh -huh. and, what, what, what are you talking about? Uh -huh. you, you have the morals of an alley cat. Give him that, sir. I didn't have sex with a porn star. <laughs> no, I do that. You do. This guy's like an alley cat. He's always looking for food and shelter. He's unchipped. This guy's got no chip to be tracked. What, what does the guy say? He's like an alley cat. You know, I don't know, whatever. This is totally unrelated, but if you're my age, when you hear alley cat, when you hear alley cat, you think of Heathcliff. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll put a joke about Heathcliff in here. I don't know. Maybe I'll squeeze some joke about Heathcliff in here. So I watched the Heathcliff intro. I watched this cartoon all through my childhood, you know? This is the first time I went back to actually watch and listen to the intro song of Heathcliff. Oh, wow. If you haven't seen this. What do, what do people say about this? I miss being a kid. I remember these days. Like, grow up, man. Shut up. But this guy, this is what I'm thinking. I forgot how hard this song slapped. All right, the whole songwriting in the Heathcliff intro is baffling, but the ending line, listen to the ending line of Heathcliff. Bitches won't be undone. You should realize you can win with you. You should realize. Hey, kids, you need to realize something. Hey, you kids in the mid-90s, you, you haven't realized that Heathcliff can win it with you. Win what? Win what? He already, he already won. I'm watching this cartoon. Dude, I'm burning you down. Okay, great. So what are people thinking about this? What is it? Debate? Polling. Post-CBS News, YouGov conducted some polling. Never heard of Post-debate. We can compare it to the pre-debate numbers. Go and ahead. the bottom line, Alice, it's not any good. 
Oh. It's not any good. Look at this. Voters who say that Biden has the mental health to be president. It was just 35 percent pre-debate. Look where it's dropped to now post-debate. 27 percent. How about that? He oh, should be man. running for president. It was 37 percent pre-debate. It's now 28 percent. I have never seen numbers this bad for an incumbent president. Allison, there's only one way we could put it. These numbers are. And then they go like this. Back to you. And then she's like, well, were you just playing sound drops? God bless you. Uh, no, I wasn't, Allison, and I... Got your ass! Woo! Harry, do we have polling yet that suggests that voters want a different candidate? What, Allison? Yeah, this is the whole question, right? If it's not President Biden, then who could it be on the Democratic side? And Can the truth is, there are no easy answers. You know, I went back and looked at the polling versus Donald Trump for a bunch of different Democrats have been suggested. Gretchen Whitberg, Gavin it's Newsom, weird. Kamala Harris. It's Look weird. at this. They all trail Donald Trump. So, OK, what does this guy say? He says uh, none of these people would beat Donald Trump. None of these people would beat this guy. It's weird. Either Whitmer, Newsom, Kamala Harris. Nobody likes these people. We need somebody totally new. We need somebody new who's actually interesting, can provide some kind of something. Can provide something material that people actually will actually help people. I'm helping a lot, you know, and I think I found a guy. I think I found a totally new guy who should be president. I found him on Instagram, this guy. Can we play that clip? Do we have that clip? Roll the clip. When you smoke pot, you go, you go to 7-Eleven, I get some munchies, I get some Skittles, I get something to drink, cause I got the munchies! I've been smoking dope, I got the munchies! Ooh, that's true. So come on guys, let's show our support for whoever the hell that guy is. Whoever that goddamn guy is, please. Come on. So there we go, guys. It's Monday. Keeping it short because... You get it. You get it with the debate thing. The whole debate and people talking about it. It's weird. But I hope you're doing good. It's Monday. It's Monday and frankly that's... Wrong! Monday looks us right in the eyes and says... Dude, I'm burning you down. But I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. I might just walk out here and I'm gonna take about a week off. Guys! You're not getting the whole show, okay? Please, for Christ's sake, become a member on Patreon, okay? For as little as two bones. When you join on Patreon for as little as two stupid little bones, you get the Tuesday-Thursday shows every week, the comments program where you can ask questions or tell stories or do whatever, and it, it's a whole show, behind-the-scenes crap. All for a two putrid little bones, that's it. Just click this link, here it is, right there, see it? Yep, okay. I'm in hell. And if you really want to support the wretched show, people call it because they're satanic, they're sick, you could become a producer for only 25 bones. These beautiful people here are, they, they God. God. Without those producers, it's over, man. It's, it's done. Do you think we can do the show without the producers? Okay, because if you do think that, you got another thing coming, my man. You got a totally different thing coming. Without the producers, it is it is as good as over. Hello? Is anyone listening to me? Please answer. I'll wait. Please answer. Our hearts and our toilets are forever endowed unto the producers from which all light comes. Praise God. Praise God. It really is amazing to have such beautiful producers, and if you want to do it, oh my God. I, you know, I don't, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> you know... I love the producers so much that I wrote a little song about them. Here we go. Hit it. Without the producers, we're going straight to hell. And we'll be their national team for all eternity. And then we'll go down to the lower level of hell where you can't get out. Not even for good, good behavior. Slash deeds. Go, go down there. Deeds. Ah!